Hello friends, this is Self-Critical Automaton, the only good gaming YouTuber, and today it is time for episode 7 of my Mist Let's Play. So the first thing we need to do is dive back into Channel Wood to go finish the other side of the puzzles that I unfortunately managed to get myself trapped in a loop and therefore not complete. So I'm just going to go do that and we'll pick up again in a moment. So now that that irritating puzzle we have to re-complete every time we want to access this age is uh, re-completed, I might as well actually get to talking while we wait. So I think it's very interesting the difference between Channelwood as it's described in Atrus's journal and the Channelwood that we see. I like that the boys dep I keep calling them the boys even though they're grown-ass adults. I, I really shouldn't infantilize them because that implies to some extent that they're not necessarily deserving of guilt for their clearly horrible actions. <clears throat> but uh, the two sons have, of course, done terrible things, but I, I think that this is most stark here. There is a difference between the way that the mechanical age is described and the way that we actually see it when we visit it for ourselves, but, you know, we were never told what the interior of that fortress was like. Perhaps, <laughs> maybe it was always like that. Maybe it was always kind of weird and fucked up. Now, is it just me or are these definitely two different... two different lifts, right? Oh, that's right, because that lift takes us to the linking book to let us get out of here, and this one takes us to the second story. Anyway, when I was editing... When I was editing the last episode, I realised something I had missed, which is that there- <laughs> there's that word again! Which is that there is a second lift up here in the second story. We couldn't get it to work, but it clearly will work if we can get the other side of the, uh... The other side of- but it will clearly work if we can get the water channelled to the other side appropriately. So the real question is just how we do that. I suspect if we open the door up here, then we can go down that staircase, which will let us get, with a bit of luck, to the other side of the lower story, which then means we can reassign the lift power to the other lift. The only question is, how do we open that door? It might help if I can find the damn thing at all first, so let's have a a thorough look around. I wonder if I've missed like a lever or a switch or something. Here's the lift and it's not working because we don't have the water channeled to the engine at the bottom of here so... Where? How on earth do we turn this on? Anyway, the stark difference between the way that uh, channel wood looks to us and the way it look and the way it sounds in Atrus's journal just kind of rams home how bad how bad what the what the sons did was like this was described as not just as being a vibrant place but being clad in in beautiful cloth and elaborate metalwork there's nothing here now but ruins so that leads me to believe that um far from being a component of the boys conquest i suspect that the sons took people from other nation uh, other ages and brought them here to do terrible things and, and loot freely which which sucks. That's a bad thing to do. That sucks if you do that. Um, I believe that it is widely considered a dick move. Okay, there's definitely there's definitely something I'm missing. So at this stage, I think I am gonna look up where whatever button or lever it is I need to pull is, because really I don't even know where else to look. I'm, I've looked at my. <gasps> well, that's what we call serendipity, because I reckon that it's exactly what I needed. Fantastic. Did I just not walk through here previously, or did I miss it? Well, we'll never know. Let's hurry on. Let's skedaddle off down the world's ricketiest looking staircase. I mentioned previously that there's some question as to whether Atrus creates these worlds or finds them in some way. Describes a world that already exists in order to travel to it. One of the, one of the curious tensions in Mist is that this first game is very intentionally, very, very ambiguous. It's very, very enigmatic. We don't really know anything. We don't really find anything out. And we never really do. 
we eventually get a list we get we eventually get some details that we can decipher from the books. We learn that Atris learned the art from his father, and that's what lets him create these linking books books that allows him to visit these worlds. But you know, who is he? Where did he come from? Is he some kind of extra dimensional wizard person or or, you know, what's up with that? There's no real implication that these are anything other than sort of like higher plane conceptual beings, entities of of power that don't exist in a in a physical dimension like we do necessarily. Both the father and his wife and the sons, indeed. Ah no, this looks more like it. <laughs> oh, interesting. Well, I don't know about I don't know about you, but this super looks like a temple. So I'm going to assume that Atrus's exhortations that his sons not take advantage of the beliefs. Okay, so more than just a temple, but this is this is full on a sacrificial altar of some kind. Not just necessary that uh, they didn't just ignore his his requests that they that they not take advantage of the of these people. Um they clearly absolutely fucking dead. So presumably they lived up here, the two sons. With their ac rear access to this, this temple room. Also, the fact that there are non-human looking severed heads elsewhere leads me to believe that these definitely were some kind of conquered people, ultimately, that the two the two sons decided to destroy in the name of conquest and and plunder. Well, that's knife. And that's interesting. Let's note this down. So, this is clearly half of the instructions to open some kind of a vault on Mist Island. I'll read the whole thing out when we find the other half, which is bound to be around here somewhere. Is that a toothbrush? What a delightful little detail. One of the things I genuinely love about Mist is that it's the people who made it really did put so much care and attention into every tiny little detail. Every least bit of effort really went in to... You know, like it's not subtle, necessarily. <laughs> you know... Is that cheese? Oh, I love cheese. Um, it's not subtle, necessarily, but this was one of the earliest examples of environmental storytelling in the first person in games. There was never really any kind of implication that you could uh, tell a story through an environment previously. Now, is this the other brother's room? I suppose it must be. Presumably these are different incan- I hope I push the right button, my dear. What a very interesting device you have here. I'm not erasing anything important, am I? <laughs> Remember, he is prepared. Take only one page, my dear brother. Interesting. So this looks like it's some kind of recording device that Akinar had been using to record presentations of himself, emanations as a deity, to transmit to the temple at the centre of this upper tier of this village. It's a bit weird that these two brothers, like much the much like the other ages, they, they do have their bedrooms be right next to each other, and yet some of the writing is as if they don't necessarily know exactly what the other is doing. There's, there's an aspect of this of this message that Sirius has left for Akinar, which kind of implies that he doesn't necessarily know that Akinar's set himself up as a deity in this area, and yet they do have bedrooms ten feet away from each other doing, you know, where he is doing these terrible things. 
It's also interesting that Cyrus seems perfectly happy to just live his life of luxury, provided he, he gets what he wants. Whereas Akinar seems to require submission. He seems to need this sense of domination over his subjects, setting himself up as a, a warlord or a deity. Oh, this is going to get on my nerves. It's going to be a bit irritating to have to constantly come back and forth between these two ages just to return the pages. But yeah, so in case you couldn't make out the audio, that uh, message was Cirrus saying, essentially, Dad's starting to catch on what we're up to. Um, make sure you only steal one of his pages. So presumably, the way they dealt with, with um, Atrus is to... Uh, damage one of the books in some way. Perhaps Atrus is also trapped. <laughs> perhaps, uh, perhaps everybody's just trapped in books. Am I trapped in a book? I guess if you think about it, technically, in the opening cutscene, we did open the mist book, touch it, and fall through into mist. I've cracked it. Every single character in this game is stuck in a book. And I'm stuck on this goddamn puzzle that I've already solved. <laughs> Alright, let's try that again. That's not going to do it. That goes to there, so we need to go one step further back. Then... This one should... No, that's... Uh, here we go, this is the one we need. Switch this one to here, go through here. Then turn this one. Which we never need to change again, because we never need to take the lift up to get there. We can only need access to that lift over there. But we can't cross the bridge, because there's only a pipe connection, because this game... Frankly, has it out for me at this stage. Like, I'm gonna lose my goddamn patience. Still, I have solved roughly three quarters of the puzzles in this game, by definition, since we're at the end of the Third Age now. And I do seem to be doing alright. I've only gotten properly stuck once, I think. Which does imply that the final world is going to be even more difficult. But yeah, I was talking earlier about some of these some of these interesting implications. And there's something that I noticed previously which I forgot to bring up, which is that in Atrus's journals he mentions that the tree dwellers don't speak his language. Every other age we see him visit, he seems to be able to he seems to share a same basic language with the people who live there. I mean, this is a fantasy setting about hopping between different imaginary worlds, so it's not unlikely that everyone would just speak the same language, or that worlds created by Atrus, if indeed his art does create these worlds rather than simply find them, that they would speak the language he speaks. But if that's the case, why do the tree dwellers speak a different language? These questions are actually answered as the series goes on, which is something else I've been meaning to talk about, which I will do after we see what happens with this page. I don't actually know how long any of these recordings go on for. Uh, I mean, within the context of the narrative, they're not recordings, of course. They are just um, people yelling into a tiny book quietly. Which, if you think about it, predicted uh, the existence of the smartphone and Twitter. So...
I'm just going to do this puzzle again real quick and then we'll finally be done with it for the last time. So, Sirius has said, don't trust my brother. Um, he's an evil bastard. Definitely don't bring him the pages. It's his fault we're both trapped in books. I don't trust him and neither should you. But I do kind of, I am looking forward to seeing what Atrus will say instead. I suspect it's exactly the same thing. But yeah, so I don't actually know how, how long the, the recordings go on for because eventually I get bored of them essentially repeating the same thing in different words and, and quit it before it's finished, which I never normally would do in a game, but I don't, I can't be bothered to edit out all of the lengthy static segments between people saying things that actually matter. So here we are again, back in Channelwood, back at it again in the crispy trees. Let's see if we can speedrun this shit. Zoom up here. Where do I go next? I go up here. Which I've just realised I forgot to reset the fucking... I haven't actually had many complaints about finding this frustrating. I've mostly not got stuck on the puzzles, um, and I've mostly just enjoyed soaking up the ambience. But at this stage, I think frustration is justified. I think that it is bad design to make you have to do the same fiddly puzzle over and over to get back in and out of this age. The previous two ages have not required you to go in and out in the same way. And they also have not... Was it this one I found first? I can't remember. I wonder where the other half of that letter is, actually. I should try and find that. But... Oh, hang on, if I... No, hang on. Uh, no, nothing. So, picking back up something I was talking about earlier, because I, for, for the life of me, cannot remember what I was about to talk about. Um... As Myst became a franchise, it began to answer many of these questions, these many, many, many questions that the fans had. These perhaps slightly ridiculous questions about what does this mean, what is that? And so as the, as the stories went on, as they added more games, they added more characters, they added characters who actually tell you stuff, they just, they just tell you up front a bunch of stuff that happens. And they also... Is it maybe hidden in here? Maybe there's a... If I change what the the god message is, maybe I'll get a different, a different result. Because there must be another half to that note hidden somewhere, right? Or maybe it only happens when you open the door. What the hell was I talking about? Oh yeah, so as this as this became, you know, a novel series and uh, various other, you know, narrative additions happened, they really did actually expand it. They explain who Atris is. They talk about Atris's people. They explain how their their art works and how they visit all these different worlds and all of these strange things that we didn't need to know really. <laughs> And it eventually becomes uh, explained that um, these games take place in the 1800s, in the real world, and that the you know Earth is just one of these many created ages, and that um, Atrus is is one of the last of the Dini, who are a a people who had this ancient art on Earth ages and ages and ages ago, many thousands of years ago, who may have been white despite being based in New Mexico and were underground dwelling mystical people with strange strange futuristic technologies which is certainly one way to take a narrative but okay i'm not sure where the other half of that note is i don't know if i've missed it or if i'm supposed to find it somewhere else but we can probably decipher its meaning anyway let's head back down for now So let's hurry, hurry, super scurry, and then never come back to this incredibly frustrating age, because, yeah, no, I, I think I'm going to stick to my guns. I think it is bad design to make you have to do the puzzle multiple times. Because once you know what the solution is, it just becomes frustrating make work to have to, you know, press the buttons to fulfill the, the goals. It's not a meaningful challenge once you know what you have to do. It's just kind of irritating. 
Especially considering that you need to come back here through here three times. There's honestly no reason not to just give you a permanent access. There could have been a spiral staircase inside of the tree and the puzzle could have been exactly the same. So anyway, having heard one brother's unctuous attempts to get, get us on side, let's find out what the other brother's insane ramblings are going to be this time. So, he said something about tricking someone into believing that he was the mur murderer and that he did not murder, murder their father. Which is kind of a wild plot twist to take at this late stage of the game. Because, uh... We hadn't heard about a murder previously. Also, uh, like Cirrus, he's inviting us to go to the last Age of Mist and go, go find the final page and let him out and not let his brother out. It's amusing to me that these, these scripts are written carefully so that they don't imply what age you should go to next, because technically you can do any of these ages in any order. So they do have to write with this sort of ambiguous, Ah, I see you have gotten the next page. Make sure you go to the final remaining Age of Mist. Whichever one that might be. Anyway, that is going to be all from me for today. Next time we'll try and figure out the puzzle to get into the final Age and probably read its book. So join me again for that. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and especially share, and check out my Twitch channel for regular streams. On Twitter, you can find announcements and one tweet micro reviews. And if you like what I do and want to support me, you can donate on Patreon or Ko-fi. The links are all in the description, and thank you so much for watching.